Okay, we're going to keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Spikowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Are we going to the Mocambo this Friday? Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. <laughs> I gave his wife a cash. I said, don't care. You know the way. You can drive. You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's going to take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Mikowski. Talking from experience. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. owned by the Argentinian embassy. Hey! Get out of the shot! Any ideas? Check the car and the surrounds. If this is a crime scene, we don't want anything missed. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Empty. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Nothing significant. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. 
What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, sweetie. Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Scratching around in that book won't prove nothing. You should show me some respect. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Jacobs dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked out. You curious what he didn't want us to see? Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle. A degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Mm -hmm. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Any messages? There's just one message for you, detective. 
A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. I got friends who work at the... You can drive. How about five <laughs> bucks for the... Do we know where we're going? This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? Are you kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car, huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. One left. That's not right. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards will steal anything the minute your back is turned. So that's it. Like I said, 
The workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey, and spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado, see how good his excuse is. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? You read this story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talking as a color. Look what we have now. Secure okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? Yes. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you, Anna? Nearly 20 weeks. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? Souvenirs are a dumb move. You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. <laughs> Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Optimistic, Cole. This is going to help us. Don't think this is anything. license plates.
take a smarter man than me to connect that. I don't think so. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. It doesn't appear to be connected. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricón that he is a man. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. That's the cop in the newspaper. Olive oil Leave them be. Olive, where's baby oil come from? Can you drive to this one? So where do you want to go? Motion picture premiere. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience?
There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. I'm gonna find you! He's getting away. We're gonna lose him. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamp post. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk, it's your fault. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Take him out. God damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car! You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That, Detective Phelps, is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing and we need more of it in this department. 